Welcome back to Car with Customs. I'm going to get right to it. I've had a few people ask me a few things on these uh, case annealer. Um, kind of go over a few things. Uh, some pros and cons, I guess, if you want to call it that. A um, few things is the hopper itself. I've noticed that uh, the cases, if you got uh, cases that got a lot more taper into them, but the issue is the higher you stack it, the more tilt it has toward the front. I don't know if I can get... A good view of that um, that's gonna be one issue what I thought about building was a plate that I can adjust basically it'll cover the front but I can adjust it like on a slider so it holds all this in place you'll kind of see what I'm talking about when I show you this when I'm running it it starts to work the top cases down uh, a few things I've had people ask me is uh, this hopper here it's not like the ones that you see that are made out of wood on this one with all with the metal cabinet I have the hopper spaced about 5 16 off the actual main body of the cabinet you can't mount that flush for a couple reasons one is uh, because of uh, the kneel unit drum right there the kneeler drum you gotta have some spacing off of there because you got the bolts that mount the uh, the motor. You can't put it flush. Uh, plus, these drums are not the best. Since you are using a cake pan, you're not gonna get good quality. They do have a little bit of wobble. Um, it's hard to find a good center on this because you can go around it different points to find center. Uh, another thing is on the uh, the feeding drum here. I don't know if I can get in there real well or not, but this, the ramp here, what I'm using is a quarter by, it's a quarter inch thick, and it was a two inch by two inch architectural. The difference between the architectural is where you get the nice sharp 90 degree in here. You do not get that on the lower grade. So if you want that nice sharp 90 degree, which you're almost gonna have to, you're gonna have to go online and find some architectural now for uh, the part here that when if you'll see that on the blueprint the way I got this machine basically what I'm doing is I don't know if I can get in there real well see how that drum is actually off that ramp it's off about a sixteenth that's why I have this space 5 16 I have this adjusted so it's level or flush with this so when the cases come down it's flush then I have it sticking out above this about a 16th that way when the case is coming down it isn't catching the edge and tipping it out and causing it to come off the ramp that is the reason for that another thing to look at when you're making your drum if you have access to uh, the laser mills to do it and then when you after you machine this out you need to radius this section right here and the reason for that is is when this drum is spinning around and it, it drops a case in there as it comes around it allows to the other cases because this is a universal drum so it picks up anything from like the uh, 223 and on uh, that'll fit in there and when you get like the smaller the cases, you'll have a, another half case. And if it's not got the radius in, and it's got that sharp edge, you'll actually cut, catch and it'll cause the drum to stop. When this is running, watch that. You'll see what I'm talking about. You'll watch the case kind of float up and down due to that. Here's my uh, the proximity counter. And then, of course, you come over here, and this is the counter for it. And, of course, my reset button. So... I'm pretty sure I think I covered a few of the things. I mean, I'll just kind of let you see some of the things. That's the block that I got that's machined out for the torch head. It's got the two set screws at the bottom here. I got a machine, so I got a set screw here, which you'll see on the blueprint here, and then one on the back side. And that is actually to lock the torch head in place. And then, of course, you got the, the bar mounted to... I don't, know, I don't have really good lighting, so... See if I can get in here. You got the bar that comes to this, which adjusts it forward and back, and you can tilt it up and down. 
and then of course this you can pivot up and down or in and out that way you can find a tune to the uh, the head of the case when you're annealing it uh, the bar I don't know what you really want to call it support bar whatever you want it for the case um, you can use mild steel I had some uh, 304 stainless sitting around uh, that's why I made it out of um, polished it that's just because as you can see the heat does get on there and it's just for rust reasons uh, when you do make these drums they're not easy to do uh, like I said they're kind of poor on being uh, true uh, uh, circles on them round however you want to say it so pick up quite a few of these because you probably will screw up a few um, you'll notice when it's running how well it is this one here on here does need to be remade but it's gonna work enough just to show you and then uh, people have asked me I got cables there are companies online that make you custom link cables so I have a cable that goes into the cabinet with a rubber ground around it for for safety on it goes into the cabinet and then it goes to here which is a brass coupler right there um, there's a 90 degree elbow just like this on the other side that connects to the hose so all the hose is always sitting straight uh, the reason I put the coupler here with the 90 is if you ever want to take this off and not use a small tank you can actually uh, get whatever length hose you need hook it up to a bigger like a grill propane tank something bigger if you want something like that uh, depending on what kind of gas you got in your house get a regulator connect it straight up to the gas in your house of course carry handle power meter power supply you kind of seen the rest off the other video kind of gone over it I'm going to start this up real quick I have to uh, Now you'll have to figure out your timing on this. The timing is always going to be different on every case and your, and your speed of your motors are going to be different. So you'll have to play with it for a little bit to kind of get used to that if you build one of these. If it's the one with the metal cabinet or if it's the wood. Now real quick I'll show you. Let me get that zoomed in. What I was talking about with that radius on there, you can see it comes around, it allows it to pop the case right back out, no hard edge to catch, and jam that up. Now as you can watch here, as it comes down, it rolls across the proximity switch, it'll actually run it on the counter. Whoop, I got a little mess up here. Alright, so this is the annealing process. And then when I told you about the cases that it kind of want to work out as it's moving down, because it's the, uh, the taper in the case. It's the more taper, the more issues you're going to have. So you just over time, you just got to kind of take it, push it back. Once in a while you have mess up like that. I don't think I got the timing on this right. Busy showing you on the video, I'm not really watching the speeds here. I did as I knocked the uh Feeding drum back just a little bit. Just getting a little too ahead there. 
And you can see the brass is really starting to flow out there. So you really gotta, like I said, that's where I need to make a cover for that. Um, I think no matter what cabinet you build, something like that, you stack them too high, you're gonna have issues like that. Especially on uh, cases with uh, more tapered trim. But again, this gives you an idea on everything. Again, remember, it's got to be spaced out about 5 16 if you're going with this design. Otherwise, you're going to have to kind of come up with your own designs. Um, otherwise, I'd follow everything on the print. Uh, if you feel comfortable making your own changes, uh, go ahead. Alright, I think that's going to be enough on the video. Hope that covers uh, a few of the questions. Enjoy.